okay okay so here you go see if you open work class okay i will tell you primary key later uh, let me go to this conference will now be recorded open so understanding obj open understanding obj open so obj open method what is the purpose of obj open method this method is used to fetch single instance right single instance using class using class key using a class key you're going to fetch a single instance from the table using this obj open method you know obj save when you fetch, when you are saving the data it will go to clipboard from clipboard it will go to um, what is that defer queue from defer queue it will land into table right so when you perform obj save you can tell me the same way it, it should be reverse right So this is VR based environment. Here you have, let's say you have an activity. Let's say you have an activity. In activity you have OBJ open. So now whenever you are going to open the data, you are going to apply this open on table, right? On a table. This is let's say table one. You have some data here. Let's say this is what table only. This is ID column, so I'm just giving ID, and this is data column that is PJ PV stream. Data will be there in PJ PV stream. Let's say ID here we have one, two, three is the ID, and some data is there. So I'm going to write an activity using OBJ open and open. What is the key? What is the open open class will be there? From which table you want to open? There will be a, something called open class. What should be the open class? Let's say this class is x dash y dash z. What should be the open class here? Open class is equal to x dash y dash z. And now you need to pass a class key. Another parameter is key. What is the key that you need to pass? Key is equal to one to three. These are the parameters. When you do OBJ open, OBJ open will take two parameters, main parameters. That is one is open class, meaning that from which table you are fetching the table related class you have to supply. And key value, you must have to provide key instance value. So that is one to three in this case. So when the open is being performed. So from here to this table, right? So you are going to perform an open. obj open is performed now what happens when obj obj open is been performed this data will be retrieved right from the table the data gets retrieved from the table so once the data is retrieved where this data will be taken onto where it will land while coming back it should come to somewhere right where it will come to clipboard let's say here you have clipboard so clipboard means it should be on pages data should be on pages on which page data has to be taken to so where do you mention that page generally in obj browse you have mentioned the page inside right for obj open you need to mention page as a step page page one this is step page so the data will be taken on to page one on clipboard this page one is mentioned as a step page during obj open this page one should refer to some class page one will refer to which class is it this page one should refer to so page one x y z refer to a class which class x dash y dash z so the same table class it has to refer to while saving your reference to table class while retrieving also you refer to table class now the data about one two three will land on to page one but before it comes to this one in between it will also come to it will maintain a separate queue this is again defer queue it will maintain the data on to 
FRQ. Your data will first come to where? Data will first come to processes reverse. So when the data is being fetched from here, data will come to defer queue. Now defer queue will have this one, two, three, and data. Okay, and from defer queue, data will land on to clipboard. From clipboard, you want to take to PRPC front end or not, it's up to you. Okay, whether you may take it or you may process it in the business logic directly from the clipboard itself for some purpose. Suppose if you want to get it to UI, then from clipboard, it will land on to user interface. So this is the process of getting the data from actual physical table. When OBJ open is being performed, it is going to bring the data and make it available in the defer queue and defer queue, it, it is going to make it available into clipboard. From clipboard, you take it to PRPC UI or not is up to you because you are performing an external open. Okay, if PRPC performs, it is going to take the data. So OBJ open when OBJ open is performed, data will get fetched to fetched from table to defer queue to clipboard to UI are somewhere it's up to you okay UI are somewhere it's up to you okay this is clear so this is how internally PRPC works everyone clear okay I will ask questions later not now it's too early so we are going to work on OBJ open now so we are going to work on on a business requirement using OBJ open everyone write down business requirement This conference will now be recorded. See your enterprise application architecture.